Alright boys, this could be freaking huge. What if I told you that there was a new World War II game in the making coming from players within the Hell at Loose competitive scene? This realistic World War II first person shooter is called Resolve and it is being developed within the new Unreal Engine 5 framework. And their plan is to, and I quote, make the game Hell at Loose should have been. Strap yourselves in and hold on to your willy caps because for a game that seemingly just started development, we have quite a bit to go over in this video. Welcome, welcome, all my mil Simperinos and casual gamers alike, presenting Resolve, a large-scale first-person combined arms shooter, where teamwork is your strongest weapon and every decision matters. Outsmart, outplay, and outgun your enemy with real-time tactics and skill across fierce frontline battles of World War II. And yes, you heard correct in the intro, Resolve here is a passion project, and it is going to be developed with the community's input at the forefront. Now these fans turned developers carry a sentiment much like my own as I kickstarted Hell Let Loose in the very beginning, a game that was promised to be a simulation of war. And to quote the developers very early on, an FPS with RTS features, kind of like Company of Heroes. Now a lot of us have been with Hell Let Loose since the very beginning, and I can remember when the developers of Hell Let Loose first got a little whiff of the success they could garner from just slightly dabbling in a more casual play style, and slowly but surely, the game began to veer from that large-scale simulation of war we were all promised in the Kickstarter, all the way up to the acquisition of Team 17, and to the point now where every time I jump into the game, it's hard enough to find a squad leader that uses my much less a regular rifleman or medic. Now let me say this real quick, for those of you that were let down by Hell at Loose, like a lot of us, and want something more involved, more of a simulation, definitely check out Postscriptum. Ignore the dead game bullcrap here on the internet. Sure, the dev team just got sacked, but it's been my favorite game for four years, and I guarantee you we're gonna squeeze at least four more out of her. And the game is 10 bucks right now, and will remain on sale only for the next 24 hours. So if you've allowed the corny internet culture to prevent you from trying this game, definitely give it a shot, as I promise you it will hold you over until Resolve here is fully developed. Okay, so let's start with some of the features Team of Resolve plan on implementing into the game. Of course, there will be large-scale maps where you decide your approach, fully simulated day and night cycle that will open new venues of attack, a dynamic changing weather system, deep team play mechanics designed from the ground up to be easy to learn, more than 30 highly detailed firearms, an expanding roster of vehicles, field guns, and artillery, a strategic resource system to change the tide of battle, squad level abilities to adapt your tactics on the fly, a responsive cover system to peek over obstacles, and establish and disrupt the enemy front line with forward operating bases. Introducing operations. Now I believe this is going to be a way your squad can earn like special weapons and abilities by completing team objectives, unlock big guns, advance equipment, deploy fortified gun and battery positions to crush the enemy's front line, giving your squad the edge with powerful firearms and utility items, take control of fearsome armor, or field a fleet of light vehicles for cunning blitzkrieg strikes. Strike at the heart of the enemy with tactical airborne assault behind enemy lines. Do I smell parachutes? So these operations will basically allow you to adapt your squad's tactics and respond to any situation with a diverse and expanding ability toolset. Now, before we take a look at these beautiful landscapes they've created, we're going to briefly go over the squad systems, the weapon systems, or loadout systems. Now, I must say, all of this is due to community input. And of course, I'm going to leave a link to their Discord and Steam page in a pinned comment, so make sure you wishlist it. But something that's constantly up for discussion and subject to change is how weapons are available to players. And right now, there's basically three different categories of weapon. The standard issue, which is unlimited the special issue, which is limited to a certain number per squad based on squad size, and then the reserve, which is bought, for lack of a better word, by the squad lead, and in the future could be obtained in other ways. A reserve weapon is lost on death. Now this system allows for a couple of things. A much broader range of weapons since these can be limited to rarity and cost, 
Squads can be customized beyond preset classes, and if you are the unlucky guy who did not get a special issue weapon, you can pick reserve weapons when available to spice things up, which could encourage more loadout rotation between squad members. However, picking a reserve weapon means your life actually matters. Now this system, of course, is not to be considered final. Definitely head over to the Discord and give the devs your two cents. For the time being, and within the soon-to-come playtest, you will spawn in as a randomly generated player model. Here is the standard German uniform in two variations, summer and desert. The face, skin tone, and hair are randomly picked on respawn, which more than likely will become customizable at some point in development. Still to come is the British uniform in rigging. And now, saving the best for last, like dessert, we are going to check out some of these beautiful landscapes that of course are being rendered in the brand new Unreal Engine 5. Now the first two maps are going to be one of somewhere in Normandy, and then somewhere around Tobruk in North Africa, like Tulane. Here we can see very early renders of the map somewhere in Normandy. Now these are some of the first content drops the devs gave us. And as you will see, their work just gets better and better. The devs are aiming to have two maps as a baseline for testing. Each map will have a high amount of variance with different biomes and landscape features that make each a unique and awesome environment to fight in, with an emphasis on being balanced and have a good flow of flanks, funnels, and vantage points. They want the game to have a high amount of variables, both within and outside of player control, that of course will affect gameplay flow and makes no two battles play out the same. To achieve this and avoid confusion, they are aiming for a direction for the game where the mechanics are simple, intuitive, and have good clarity. The best scenario is giving the players powerful tools that are easy to use where you don't need a manual to have fun, and the depth of the game comes from your response to what the enemy chooses to do. Here are a few screenshots of the second map set in Tunisia during the later stages of the Africa campaign, where the German rear guard was covering Ramal's retreat in the mountain pass of Tulane. Now back in March of 2022, the North Africa map had an entire 2 by 2 kilometer area that was playable and had received a first texture and terrain asset pass. The map features a large amount of gameplay variety from large vistas and sight lines to rocky gorges and urban environments. Now by now I would imagine some of these structures are probably textured and close to finished. Of course as soon as they drop more content I will be the first to show you guys so definitely see stay tuned. Also keep in mind, all the maps in Resolve are going to have different times of day, dynamic weather, which means you could literally be playing for 20 minutes and out of nowhere a sandstorm comes in or something like that. It's not just like static weather like we see in most games today, even AAA titles. So you're probably wondering, when are the play tests? Can I kickstart? Let's get this puppy rolling, right? I'm gonna say again, now down in a pinned comment, I'll have a link to the Steam store and their Discord. Definitely go join their Discord. As you can see, they have these goals here they're trying to reach. We should easily be able to get to 6,000. Now you can definitely count on me to keep you guys up in date, so stay tuned as they are planning to launch a Kickstarter campaign as early as February. And believe it or not, playtests are coming sooner than you might imagine, as we can even see a playtest this month, January. Again, you can count on me to remind you guys, but definitely go over to their Steam store, wishlist it, follow, and when they go to do these playtests, of course Steam will have to approve their build of the game, and you will literally sign up and join that play test through their Steam page. But woo, Aka, this came out of left field, man. I'm definitely super stoked and will be following you this very closely. But I want to hear what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Are you hyped for this? Also, if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's no better time to be a viewer. We have so many freaking Steam keys to give away. It's unreal. From Beyond the Wire, Beach Invasion 1944, No Plan B, Easy Red. To it's Stalingrad DLC, Mud and Blood, Fire and Steel. We just got Military Conflict Vietnam, basically Counter Strike with a Nam skin. And believe it or not, we got another one coming through the pipe. So stay tuned for the announcement on that newest Steam Key giveaway. If you're new around here or been sucked up in a tactical vacuum, I'll give you details on exactly how to enter. The last video of every week, I randomly announce and/or pick a winner from the comments. So make sure you're entering at least once a week. It's super 
easy to enter. Like or dislike the video. Of course, be subscribed to the YouTube channel. And you must join us on Discord, the Boogie 5 Discord. It's linked below. And then just simply drop a comment. Like I said, at least once a week. Say whatever you want in your comment, but leave your Discord name and number. That is your ticket stub. Without it, you are not entered. Good luck to everybody in the giveaway. Hey, you want to leg up in the giveaway and support your boy in the channel? Consider joining the ranks of the Millsip Minions, my channel membership, get exclusive videos, an exclusive Discord channel, and double your entry in every week's giveaway. That's right. Only my channel members get their name in the hat twice every week. And all three tiers of membership get this perk. So as little as 25 cents a week could help you to win a $40 copy of Beyond the Wire. My Millsip Minions are my inspiration. Huge shout out to my current members. But let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Let's get the comments popping off. Let's talk about this. Are we stoked for Resolve or what? Also, when you're at the Discord, if you record your own gameplay, put your funny, kill streak, cool any cool indie, tax shooter, milsim type games. I want to see your coolest clips. Submit them to the submit your clips section at the Discord. Like no Call of Duty or Battlefield fart knife stuff. We don't want any of that. But whoever provides the most interesting, cool, funny clip for episode 5 of the top 10 milsim moments also wins their pick of a Steam key. Good luck to everybody in the giveaways. I'll see you boys in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.